Greetings and salutations. This is Johnny Mac, Lock and Metal Plus. Um, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, like, all that sort of stuff, comment. And if you're not new, welcome back, dude. Or do that. Right, so um, this is another collection update of stuff which I have collected. And I will be updating you on it. Cheers, Yachida. And um, this time, it's all vinyl. So, um, let's get into it. Uh, let's move me stuff. Cause... Right, I'll unsleeve them all because it's... So, first up, this is um, Winter Mist, and it is some UK black metal. Look at that sleeve, the sleeve is gorgeous, isn't it? Really cool. Uh, the album's called Floor, not Four, as in Golf, Floor with F, with an F and an R and O. Yeah, that's how you spell it. Now, this is, came out on Blackwood Productions, and apparently, um, Winter Mist is the brainchild of a single dude called Steve Blackwood. So I'm presuming he's got his own record label as well, which is nice work if you can get it. Well done, fella. So this is UK Black Metal. There be the dude. Um, this is on White Pinal. Very cool. Um, I think this was the white vinyl version was limited to 300. I think I'm just making that number up for everything. No, no, I'm sure this one was 300. Because um, I made the list and everything and some notes. It says that on there. Uh, yeah, this is. Um, he says the winter, uh, winter based black metal, um, but it's just essentially. Proper raw, atmospheric, black metal, very cool. Um, reminds me a lot of the sort of Norwegian um, second wave uh, of black metal. Very, very cool uh, and awesome stuff. I said came out 2021. Um, I saw it on the Instagram of the Black and Hymns and. Uh, he put it as his album of the year, so who was I to say no? I got on it and luckily managed to get in. Get in. Uh, next up, um, another UK kind of black metal based. Uh, that this essentially these are from Manchester, I believe. This is Woad, um, and this is a lead blessing of their servants of the Counter Cosmos. Um, this is their second album. Um, I said it's black metal, but it's very death and thrash, heavy metal y parts in it as well. Um, I actually did a review last year, early on, of the uh, the new Bewitcher album and the new Woad album, uh, Burning Many Mothers, because I thought they were both black and thrash, but this is a, the, the Woad one was more, more black than thrash, if you get what I mean. Uh, more black metal based. But uh, this is uh, more of the same. That's got a cool uh, guys from the band. Lydix. Um, black Wax. But the burning many mirrors that I've got is an uh, awesome colour splattered one. But I said this is a, it's a Lee Press. Um, I'm pretty sure the original load of them all sold out and, and I said I, after buying the album I'd follow them on Bandcamp and I had a notification through end of last year sort of December or whatever saying that they were replacing it for the first time in a couple of years because this originally came out 2017 and they were bringing it out again because it all sold out so yeah this is awesome very cool uh, yeah well, it's just the things as well Look at that. I, I do love the some really cool artwork in this bunch of albums. Right, next up, uh, let's work, move on from the black metal to the death metal. Okay, 
Um, so them two are both from the UK. This is a band who um, like dual nationality. They're part Danish and part Turkish, but fully death metal. Um, and I'm obviously talking about Hyperdontia. Now, uh, everybody showed this. This is last year's hideous entity. This is awesome. Um, took me a while to get my copy, but finally came through um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, everybody loves them. Great, I think it's just. Is it black? Yeah, it's just, just black. It's quite cool. Uh, I said it was on many, many year end lists for people. This is crushing, brilliant, awesome death metal, uh, heavy. Um, yeah, just so, so this is the second full length from 2021. Uh, nasty death metal. Um, I know Liam from Death Doom, the Death Doom Metal Ed, showed it on his last update, and I think bloody hell, I'm ticking off these days. Uh, other YouTubers have been. Mention albums and I've been ticking off going, yeah, that's one I was going to mention, but I'm not going to not mention it. But he did say that he'd uh, not be able to get a hold of Nexus of Teeth, but I could. So I'm quite chuffed about that. So yeah, this is their first full length from 2017, was this one? 2018, yeah. It's their first full length, uh, Nexus of Teeth. A lot of people raved about it. And apparently Hyperdontia is something to do with teeth and... Hence why it's it's uh, something to do with shitty teeth, basically. So hence why all the teeth and that. I think they both come on the same record label, whatever that is, with that spidery thing on it. Um, so yeah, I was lucky to get hold of this. I don't know how many are left. I don't know where I got it from. So there you go, there's all your dentistry stuff. Very cool. Uh, and this one came in clear. It's, it's clear with a little bit of, oh, I don't know, teeth coloured maybe, final? Yeah, I don't know. It's like white, it's got a little bit of a swirly type thing in it. So this is very, very cool. Pleased to get hold of this. Um, yeah, so that's Hyperdontia covered. Um, talking about older albums. Uh, pleased to get hold of 2020s. Incantation album, Sect of Vile Divinities, um, it's on Relapse, um, I'm presuming, I don't think it's, it's, I don't think it's an actual Reapthessian, but I don't know, I think it just had ones left over, so, I'm sure many people, this was in many people's year then, less when it came out, awesome, awesome, uh, American death metal, um, yeah, the 11th, full length from 2020 um, really cool I do like the way it says uh, side death and side metal um, as the hype sticker st uh, sticker sticker says this is on green and mustard galaxy merge which looks like this you can see the green Mustard and galaxies merging in there. A bit like snotty, vomity sort of colour. So, there we go. Uh, sounds sick anyway. Hey, vomit sick anyway. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm here all week. Um, very, very cool. Um, another band I didn't own enough shit by, so um, I was crawling through. Probably Amazon or something like that, I can't remember where I did it from there. And it just seemed to, it came up in a good place. So, uh, as you do, you sometimes with these sort of stuff, and same with the Hyperdontia, you just, if you see something and you go, well, that's probably a price I would, I think I'd probably pay for, and you just have to go for it. Don't you? So, yeah, I mean, please have this. Very good album. I can see why people are raving about it. I know it's high up in people's uh, incantation rankings, and so it should be too. Right. Back to the UK uh, with this beautiful album. I say beautiful as in the album cover. Look at that. Whoops. <clears throat> Whoops. Oh, shit's falling out. Right, so this. The gatefold. 
because I need I say I'd love to cover this. This is UK's Cryptic Shift. Oh look, I haven't had the t-shirt on. Not the same album, this is done the single. But um yeah, this is Cryptic Shift. Visitations from Enceladus. Enceladus. This is on Blood Harvest. Um this is awesome. I just um pick this up. Um things off there, they've got a website and everything. Now they've got loads and loads of stuff with it, but what I thought was really cool, there's a official collector's guide. So it's almost like being a kid. And you've got all the different formats, all the merch. And by each one there's a white box so you, you tick off which one you get. There's even a um action figure or the action figure like that dodgy um, napalm death scum one i bought when i was best that time if you've not seen it go and have a look at the video um but yeah there's flags and tapes and cds and that so yeah so they they were ex obviously expecting to sell a shed load uh, and on the back good old uk there's a an advert for slime lord moss contamination out now on strike off records and secret records, bloody stuff. Um, obviously, I got me tape, and I think I might have even ordered the vinyl, which will come out sometime this year, I guess. Anyway, we're not talking about them. We're talking about Cryptic Shift. I got a nice little sticker with it. Got a sweet postcard because I, I love this that artwork. I, I think it's just absolutely brilliant. And uh, thank you for your support, which is cool. Uh, we get a nice poster from the inside like a moon base picture of the handsome chaps themselves um, words lyrics and pictures and stuff uh, and obviously there's even an album in it love and heck uh, just on black final very cool. Um, if you want to know what they sound like, just got to listen to them. Uh, no, they. Um, I think they're classed as tech death, I would say. Um, but like sci-fi, spacey tech death. Um, I don't know. It, you just have to have to listen to them. They're very, very good. Um, I noticed uh, Mark G with a C ad. Uh, cryptic shift t-shirt on in one of his previous um, collection updates as well he knows his stuff so it's, it can't be good but yeah they they remind me of I don't know it, it's there's, there's bits of you know sort of like Voivod in there as well they're, they're quite thrashy but so I, I, I've got five words down here I put English tech death thrash sci-fi sci-fi two words one word no nah, no nah, whatever so yeah, that's what they sound like, and they're fucking great. Look forward to the next stuff from them. And I'd like to see them live. It's one thing, most of these UK bands, I might be able to see them live at some point. Who knows? Imagine that. Neat. Next up, and probably last, because there's many more, so it's probably. Um, I picked up a couple of bits and bobs from, um, on, off, off of the band camp, as most of the stuff is. Um, there's a record label called FHED um, and they are based in Cardiff, South Wales, so they're Welsh, so I thought I'd better buy some stuff from there. Uh, first up, I picked up this, which is the band are called Vacuous, unless you can't, you can't read that, cause, and the album's called Catabasis, Catabasis, so like Um this is audible nasty death metal almost death doomy um very audible very cool um so black vinyl um got a sweet postcard with it and as you can see on the back it says uh, there's only three and 250 of them, and this is 213 out of 250. That's cool. Who does he? Uh, 
be metal miners. Anthony Metal Miners showing this. Can't remember. Somebody showed it anyway. I'm sure it's Anthony. Um, so that's that. That's very cool. But also while I was there on their fan camp, I picked up this. In fact, there's this little card which they sent me. It said, cheers for your order, John. Hope you enjoy them both. Uh, and are uh, having a Cromulant 2022 so far, all the best, Jim. So, cheers, Jim. Nice little fella. Um, I also picked up a zine. I've got that many zines. So, uh, this is says Endless Disappointment, issue 15, too hot to handle, too cold to hold. Um, includes Brutality Will Prevail, This Is Hell, Genocide Pact, and Inhuman Nature. So and it says plus puzzles and other perfectly cobulent offerings. So yeah, this is just a, a cool. There's a brutality will fail. Oh, see that major eater? They're the Glencore band. I've just ordered that album. Um, I think it's coming out next month, so that should be cool. I'll be reviewing that then. I get, to, get to see much of Glencore, but yeah, just a cool little zine. There's the puzzles. There's the puzzles for you as well. Matching, super great. Interviews and shit. So good. Um, also with that, they chucked in the comic. We all love comics, right, guys? So yeah, it's very well written. Uh, there's not a lot to it, obviously. It's just to, to get you in, but yeah, artwork's cool. But yeah, go comics. In fact, that looks like that beekeeper dude that... Um, is it Liam was on about? Yeah, there you go. Cosmic Beekeepers. Surely in the death do metal had something to do with them. There you go. Probably not the same band, but they So yeah, cool. Let me see this thing. There you go. So excellent stuff. So pop over to FHED and check them all out. So yeah. I've been Johnny Mac. This has been Knock Metal Plus. And I'm out of here. See ya.